So let's say that you have a cross section, right? A, a cross section, a, a bar, and you have a four, you have a two pins here, and let's say that you have a distributed load and a point load here. All right. Now let's say that you want to calculate the forces in the y direction. Summation of force in the y direction is going to be equal to zero because you need to have an equilibrium. Let's call this point A and this point B. Point A and point B are going to have a force. So it's going to be force A and force B. For Let's say that this is to 10, 10 meters, right? And let's say that this force is, uh, let's say it's, I don't know, 2 kilograms. And let's say that this one is 1 kilogram. Uh, over meter, something like that. I don't remember how, how you do it. Basically, the way you're going to do it, you're going to add summation of forces in the Y. But first, you need to, to make this distributed load into a concentrated load. The way you do it, you multiply this number by the length of the, of the bar. So it would be 1 times 10. It will give you 10 kilograms. This is going to be your distributed load. The, the, the section this is going to be is going to be on the center. It's going to be at 5 meters. Right? So your summation of forces is going to be your, your two forces FA sorry. It's going to be your force FA plus your force FB. Because these forces are going downwards it's going to be minus 2 kilograms minus your distributed load that is 10 kilograms so in this case and you set it up equal to zero in this case fa plus fb are gonna be equal to 12 kilograms now let's say that you want to get fa or fb in this case they're not gonna be equal because they are not on center you have these two kilograms on the right so what you can do is you can calculate moments uh, around the point. Let's say calculate moments around A. The way you do this, you set it up like summation of moments are around points A equal to zero. Now, you have two. F when you have this moment, there's no force acting on here, so you are gonna neglect this force. The way you're gonna calculate this moment, you're gonna multiply this for the, the force by the distance. So let's say that you want to calculate the moment around point A. You're gonna go first with the one where the with the 10 kilograms in the negative position, 10 kilograms times the distance that is five meters, right? Then you're gonna subtract the two kilograms and multiply it by the whole distance that is 10 meters, and you're gonna add the force FB times the 10 meters. Now you're just going to solve for if for force on B. This is going to be equal to minus 50. This is going to be equal to minus 20. And everything is going to be divided by 10, right? This is going to be equal to FB. So it's going to be minus 70 over 10. It's going to be minus 7. So let me see if I got this right. And B, B, minus. Yeah, that's correct. This is gonna be your for your your force at B. This is gonna be in kilograms. So from here you can substitute in this equation, and you can solve for FA. So FA is gonna be equal to twelve kilograms minus FB, that is seven kilograms. Because it's negative, you're gonna add it up because of this, right? So it's gonna be, FA is equal to 19. No, shit, no, it's not a multiplication. It's gonna be negative, so it's gonna be seven, eight, nine, 10, it's gonna be five kilograms. That is your reaction of FA.